Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Beyond All Reason. I am your host, Sato Kaiva, and I was recommended I watch this game by Ptac because he is versus vodka in here, and he has uh, said this ought to be a pretty interesting one. It is going to run on for quite a while, so I'm kind of really curious as to why a 1v1 would drag on for almost half an hour, or so it looks like. But we're going to find out. Let's shell. This is Red Comet. This is a bit like Comet Catcher. It's much, much smaller, though. This is um, a way more typical size for a one versus one game. That uh, See, the Comet Catcher would be suited for a 3v3 even. Three players versus three on the other side. This much, much easier, although you can easily tell the similarities here. There's one crater for each side, and there's not, there's the spots here, there's a lot of similarities between the two maps, of course, but there's, um, solars, laser towers, it's interesting to see, everyone has their own little, uh, thing they want to do first, of course, the laser tower is not generally something I build first, attack because this your enemy cannot even have any units out before like the um, two minute mark or so hang on a second I... oh <laughs> dark dar gone hardware cursor there we go if my cursor was flipped there I'm sorry I, I forgot to turn that off like I usually do so p -tack is on three max is one solar he's probably gonna build more soon vodka is on two solars he's building his vehicle plant, core vehicles. Ptac is also core. Uh, mm, they do have kind of an advantage here. Core techs have an advantage on a windless map like this because Armada gets cheaper wind generators, but core techs, they get cheaper advanced solars and cheaper solars, period. So, oh, and also core vehicles. I mean, on a flat map like this, of course. That's exactly what I'd expect. I mean, bots aren't terrible if you can really micro your AKs well, but um, as we've seen, they're not optimal optimal versus instigator tanks. But this ought to be interesting. We have the weasels out already. Just as I called it, two minutes. That's what. That's when you got to be ready for the scouts to hit your base. And because he has this now, I guess it's good that he built this first because he wants to get the third max and he builds the um, plant there. So that does make sense. So, he can't find any holes now because none exist. Oh yeah, the weasels look a bit different here because this is an older version of the game. They changed the model quite a bit. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I keep jumping around. I'm holding the microphone with one hand while I'm doing this. Uh, don't know if you can tell. <laughs> so, because I don't really have a proper stand for it. Oh! Oh, there it is! Well, there is Ptac's uh, self-destruction. Even though the scout got in a position where it could have killed that mechs, he self-destructed the mechs and was able to kill the scout. Of course, he didn't need to do that, because even if the scout had killed it, it probably would have gotten blown up anyway when the thing blew up, taking it with it. But his scout is going to do quite a bit of um, grief here. <laughs> Running around, just keeping Ptac busy making it so he has to use his scouts to kill and can't use his scouts to see what Vodka's doing. What is he doing? Let's see. He has just now built construction vehicles. He's um, a little light on scouts. Not too bad though. Two construction vehicles is about the minimum that I would say you push out with. Two scouts at home, which is a bit weird. If he placed this tower a bit more central, he could have covered these and not needed to uh, protect that max with these. Hmm. I'm starting to see the outline here. Both players have their first expansion. P-Tac has his first tanks. Okay. Uh, what's he doing? Okay, he's trying to zoom around and see if he can uh, find any unprotected stuff. P-Tac has no radar. It's no scout to notice what might be coming his way. He has this, though. He will notice if anything slips along the edge. That's important. Yes. He could, if he was um, really 
paranoid a bit. He could dragon's teeth this little slip of land off so that no scout could get by, and they'd have to run right into the LLT's area of influence. Okay. Okay. Battle lines are... I can't quite see them yet, but they're about to get drawn. Vodka is going to calm walk. Now, Ptac is keeping his at home to uh, assist build everything. Vodka is expanding with his commander rather than using vehicles. He's going to need to use vehicles pretty soon, though. Ptac actually doesn't seem to have any... There, he just built his first one. He just built his first construction vehicle. He's only on six solars. Black goes on five. Okay. <clears throat> he cannot attack the commander. He might not even lose a bit to... Mm. These towers are a bit oddly placed. Uh, they're a bit too easy to hit. If you come from this way, you'll be able to just pick this one off and then run back to repair. But Vodka now has roughly equivalent tank count here. Why he just let this slip, though, I have no clue. Mm, it might not matter because he has two towers here and he has more tanks coming up. He's going to lose his scouts, though, because he's not watching. <laughs> Poor guy. Mm, take care of your weasels, everyone. Take care of your weasels. They, they work very hard for you. You know? Mm, this is really getting to be quite set up. Sorry, I had a bit of interruption there. We are back. Okay. P-Tac. Um, mm, he's losing a bit of his army here. Not what you want to have happen. So, he's not combat effective anymore. Not against this many turrets. Even one tank could die to one LT. And they can't run. When they're in range, the tanks... Same speed. You can't escape. You're just going to get overrun. Mm-hmm. Dies and leaves 77 metal racks each time. <laughs> P-Tac, no scouts. Vodka, also no scouts. On a map like this, it's so open. I mean, there are some undefended stuff. There's no exploiters going up yet that I can see. P-Tac has a radar now, so he will see these tanks coming in, but they can't have any chance of getting through to a commander. They can kill this turret that's going up, though. That's gonna take him off. But they will lose one of their number in the process. They might kill a max or two. Oh, they will lose two tanks. P-Tac will lose one max and one turret, but he's gonna rebuild it quickly. So... Hmm. Bad trade. Bad trade. Vodka. Looks like he's trying to progress down here. I don't think... If P-Tac had built just one scout... He could have seen this coming right around this edge. He wouldn't even need a radar. He'd just be able to see it. And he would know to send his tanks that way. Unless... Did his radar? No. I don't think it could have seen that far. No. He didn't see that far. One tower will get overrun. See? His solars are there. His solars are the most vulnerable thing. Out of all of this. Hmm. Can't afford to lose too much of his energy. Because, oh my gosh. Even with so little wind, you can't afford to build wind generators. You have to rely completely on solar. But even on a metal rich map like this, solars are so, so expensive. 150 each for core. Uh huh. He's going to lose more than just that, though, at this rate. Looks like the. Vodka! What the heck? Okay, you... Th did you kill that one? I didn't see, but you, you let the vehicle get away. Hmm. Well, oh, commander's facing off. Now, neither of them can degun the other. Thanks to a, uh, recently... Oh, wait. No, this might be an older engine. They might still be able to do that, but they would end it in a draw. But, um... In a newer version of the game, if you were to try and degun your opponent's commander, your commander would die instantly if it's the last one remaining. Wouldn't do that in a team game, but uh, and they added that for some reason. I, I really don't agree with it, but I'm not going to go into the reasons why yet. 
So Vodka has a better energy economy coming. He's okay. He's um he's built way too many maxes here though, and they are bleeding three energy apiece. Even though they don't look like they're working, they're still draining energy. You don't want that to happen. It's embarrassing. Drains your economy. So oh, that's enough to threaten a commander. Yeah, that's bad. Not quite as dangerous as flashes would be though. P tech oh. The attack caught them. And they can't run away because they have the same speed. They surround. They'll, they'll drive them off. And they were able to escape, though, because not quite microed right. So, now he's building up turrets. He shouldn't rely on basic LLTs. Those are way too easy to kill. He should use HLLTs, which are doubles, double LLTs. What is he doing now, though? He's getting slashers. I don't think we've seen these yet. Slashers being missile trucks with M600 range. That's incredible. Late laser tires have 435. These things, they can shoot that far. They're very low damage, but um, they were pretty good at planking away at turrets from a long distance away. Not. They will very, very quickly get overrun by light tanks, though. What? No. He is queuing wind. What the hell? Uh, that's not even worth it. No, with four. <laughs> uh, wounded tanks. We'll get... Uh-oh. Nope. You need to start that self-destruction way, way sooner, buddy. It's just not going to work. And they don't have nearly enough health to survive getting overrun to make that worth it. Hmm. But if they're going to die anyway... You can deny them the reclaim from the turret, as minuscule as it is. Hmm. Radars? Everywhere, radars. <laughs> okay. The battle lines are completely drawn now. No one really seems to have more map control than the other, though. Vodka has a bit... Oh. He has them. He has the raiders. He has the tanks. Hmm. P-Tac. You're going to have to shape up here, buddy. You've got quite... No, you don't have quite a bit more, but you're you're losing out on economy. Vodka is going to overrun you if this keeps up. <laughs> he's, he's chasing one tank down with six, though. That's not good. Hmm. Slasher's here, plinking away. Sorry about that. I'm having a few more distractions than I'd like. So, since uh, neither side has really been able to achieve complete dominance yet, Vodka's doing good, but not quite winning. Uh, normally, by the 10 or 11 minute mark, this would be where 1v1 matches are decided when it looks like they're about to get a commander overrun or get their base killed. But, um, not quite seeing that yet. I mean, the tanks are really doing work, but they're getting killed by just basic turrets because they're not quite being used well. Uh, p -Tech is investing in a warden here. That's going to be really, really dangerous. They're not that tough, but they, I mean, like, HP-wise, but they are incredibly, incredibly powerful. They, they shoot faster than the Armada version, don't quite deal as much damage per shot, but much better versus raiders. As, I mean raiders as in light units. I'm sorry, I'm missing ZK terminology here. Hmm. So, oof. <laughs> Miss. Almost pulled a goopy there. Ooh. Ah, b -Tech not quite watching. He will kill one tank, maybe. If he... Uh-oh. If he doesn't shoot the tanks... Uh. Well... It's being repaired. It's being repaired by that many cons in a nano. You can't win in that kind of contest. You should have reclaimed it before it died. You would have got the full value back. But now, he has to worry about losing that little fight. He's got these two mexes locked down with a warden. So, <laughs> big, big problem. Big, big problem. Uh, he's getting his economy... Quite a bit back up to snuff, though. Trying to match vodkas in terms of uh, energy output. And he does have a lot of maxes still. But, um... 
Vodka has got the map control here pretty much tight. There's still some spots P-Tech could easily sweep through, but he's choosing instead to go head to head with the army. And, I mean, if you let your opponent control where and when you're going to attack, make them reactive, then they pretty much already won. Look, he has him focused down here. His forces are coming in. He's already killed this one. He's going to kill this one too. Got the raiders. I mean, these are pretty good if they can get it, unless they get swarmed. Versus light tanks. So, <laughs> they're going to kill another max if they... Yep, they're going to kill that tank too. Uh, each raiders cost about two tanks, two light tanks worth of metal and energy as my guess, isn't it? What is it? 235 to 2400 to uh, 118 to what, 1042? Yep, that's about right. Um, vodka, though, uh, where, where did his army go all of a sudden? <laughs> so, his army is, his army is scrap. Part of it is scrap in p territory. p is, um, starting to build up better. If he really wanted to crack that line, he needs to have artillery do it for him. He can't just rely on tanks. He needs to have artillery. So Vodka is settling in for the long game here and just leading P-Tac on with the nose. <laughs> this, is, this is getting interesting. Okay, Vodka is settling in. He's really turtling down here. He's building nano turrets to repair his turrets here, his actual turrets. And he is building another nano turret. And he's going to assist build a bot lab with those nano turrets. He's switching from vehicles to bots. This is usually backwards. It's usually you switch from bots to vehicles. I mean, to get the cheap bots out to get your build power, get the fleas or get your light infantry, and then you switch to the tanks so you can actually run. Okay. Okay, he is self-destructing his tanks so they don't become fodder that um, P-Tech can just reclaim. That's very smart. He could have done that, like, closer in to do a little bit more damage if he wanted, but um, maybe he could have waited. But still, not a bad idea, because if P-Tech's coming right in behind or reclaiming, he'll have a little bit less now. That's uh, exactly what you want to do. This one confuses me. Why? I... No, this one can... Oh. What? Oh! Well, oh yeah. What? Okay, it's uh, it, do, it can see as far, but it's not quite uh, doing it? I, I don't know, the game's a little bit weird like that. Hmm. So p -Tac is starting to counterattack here. He's coming up the middle, which has been completely left undefended. Vodka's focused on the upper and the south, and my guess would be to uh, make them hard points so then he can push his army through the middle, and if he had p -Tac were to attack through the middle, he could catch him from either side. But he has no army to, to you know, fully do that. So p -Tac, if he is smart, he would go right for the energy right now. But, um, and not let Vodka get forces up that can stop him. But we might not see that here. Oof. There's quite a bit of fast, fast uh, building trying to make up for this. What's he going to kill? Is he going to kill any... No, the advanced slowers are up here. So, oof. He is going to kill something up here that's being unwatched, though. He will kill some solars. Very, very good. I mean, they can just reclaim or resurrect. Oh, he is resurrecting. He's resurrecting using resurrection bots to get the tanks up. That's bad. That is really, really bad. He has the energy to do it now, too, with the advanced ones. Paytech is building advanced ones, too, but does he have a bot lab? The resurrection bots really make a difference. When you have all the metal locked down on a map, you can't expand it anymore. You can't get any more mexes. It's time to build resurrection bots so you can make the most of it. Because reclaiming is one thing, but being able to just get a unit back for free by just pouring energy into it, well, except what metal has been taken out of it, you have to put back in. But being able to do that's incredibly good. So, p has built no artillery. Yet. Is he going to, though? Five raiders queued. 
to two vehicles for construction. That is the ratio vodka, one vehicle, two levelers, five raiders. He's um, built out a few artillery, though. Wait, no, those aren't artillery. Those are levelers. Okay. My bad. They look like artillery with their icon. Huh. So with this many turrets, though, at least build slashers. <laughs> that is so many turrets. It's insane. If he just built some artillery, he could destroy everything. But nothing. Nothing's going on. Don't think he knows what to do quite. He, he's got an exploiter here, which is going to be really, really tough to take out with the nano turrets appearing, especially. Oh, some flame turrets here. Hmm. So p -Tech is trying to match Vodka's strategy. He's focusing more on a middle turtle than he is the other. So Vodka's army is staying in range of his turrets so that he can chew up uh, p -Tech. But p -Tech has got everything here in reclaim range. So it's not that easy. Hmm. So he's going to chew away using tanks and just um, bowl through it, is my guess. Vodka... Hmm. What are we doing? Okay. That's what I thought might happen. Get the air switch going. p -Tac doesn't seem to have built any missile turrets. But, uh, neither is Vodka. He, I thought he queued up a few earlier, but he must have cancelled. So... He's going to need quite a few bombers to punch through solars. But not, not so many. He needs like twice as many bombs as he would otherwise have. But if they close, if they close up in time, they can mitigate a lot of that damage. So it's not as easy as it looks first. <laughs> Especially because with solars having a bit more health, they will leave a wreck when they die, but winds don't leave wrecks. They just pop. But solars will leave a wreck that can be reclaimed. Which doesn't really work so well to be bombed, because they can just get your economy back. So. Vodka, though, has an uncontested swarm of resurrection bots running rampant. Again, if p -Tac had artillery, he could just pop that swarm right there, just drop shells on their heads. So, what is it going to do now? Oh, he's building rocket bots. Okay. That's good. Those are of a lot more damage than missile trucks do. He's going to try to take out these turrets. Take out the... Oh. That was the stupidest move he could have done, though. Vodka. Build an air scout, and then... Look what happened. Immediately after p -Tac saw it, he queues up missile turrets. He just advertised that he has air coming from the west. Hey, buddy, you better build, better build AA right now. I'm building bombers. <laughs> if this actually works, I will cry. Hmm. So, I mean, yeah, blade wings would be a good thing with the EMP drones just on the tanks, but not when your opponent has noticed it. Not when they're going to be building AA like right then. They will be able to pick them off. Oof. But, p -Tac has built a Tier 2 factory. He's only just now starting things, though. What's he got? The first thing out's a Goliath. That's interesting. <laughs> I would have thought he would build a Tier 2 constructor first, but, um, which is usually the play. But that's good. That's good. That's very good. <laughs> Look at that. Look at that. That is a monster. 650 range. Think of how much range a missile truck has. 600? That's that's more range than freaking missiles have. And that damage will just pop loads of units. Will just explode entire groups of plasma bots if they have them. Say nothing of rocket bots. He can outrange, outdamage, and outtank everything on that side here. But he's getting the same thing. But we'll see what comes out of that lab. So, p -Tac also has an army of uh, raiders here. He has just built the big daddy of them all. And we'll see. He's bringing it to the top. And he's going to push right through. And if Vodka's not careful, he's going to die. Right here, right now. 
What's he doing? He bolt a radar jammer. Okay. Not a bad idea. Not a bad idea to uh, hide what your forces are doing. Of course, he's going to see as soon as he leaves the radar bubble that the tanks are leaving, which means he can swoop in. Sorry. Okay. So, Vodka doesn't quite notice the tank yet, but he's going to. <laughs> How's he going to handle this, I wonder? p -tac? Is going to utterly annihilate everything. Okay. But his, um. Walkabouts are sweeping the south, killing some mechs here. He's not fully committed to a tier 2 economy yet, so. He can only afford to lose so much ground. I mean, depending on how much he claims of his own stuff, which is not much. Not much at all. If he can't spare any forces to deal with these, they're going to kill a lot of his metal makers. Hmm. Hmm. He's not pushing it through. p -tac. Come on, man. p -tac, you can just push that through. You don't have to be acting like it's a skirmisher. Just move your entire force of tanks behind it. Stop them getting flanked. That's, that'd be plenty right there. Okay. One bomber. One bomber, I guess, to test if it actually works. It's going to get shot down. But will it get shot down before it does anything? It will. <laughs> it will get shot right down. But, um... Now he has peewees. He has peewees now. And he has blade wings to support them. To catch the tanks... The blade wings will stun the tanks, the PBs will rush in and kill the tanks. So, Vodka is in a lot of trouble here. He's built Reapers now, which are advanced versions of Raiders. They are faster, they do more damage. Well, not faster, but they have a lot more health. The Peewees staying back here for now. These tanks are moving in. <laughs> a couple of Reapers are more than a match for more than an equivalent number of the tanks. But, oh my gosh. There's so much hell coming. Um, I'm sorry, buddy. The dragon's teeth is a nice idea, but it's not going to work against reapers. They will just literally roll right over that. Hmm. p -tac. You're in trouble. Your entire force of tanks is back here. Vodka knows exactly where your T2 factory is. He's running away from everything that you could use to stop him. And he's going to deal some very, very severe damage to your production with by killing those nano turrets. It's going to take a lot of his attention away. And he has forces all over the map while P-TAC is just concentrated right here in the middle. <sighs> and these three rocket bots have been completely uncontested this entire time. How could he let those tanks just roll right through him? Jeez. But now... Vodka's attention has been all the way over here, as I say that, and P-TAC is just completely fit to run right over Vodka. Vodka has hidden his commander right in here. He's hidden his commander right in the com in the crater. <laughs> this is perfect. Okay. But he has to watch forlornly as his base is completely trampled by Reapers and Goliaths. The Goliath's trundling along behind, but it will catch up. And when it does, it's too late. The Reapers versus Reapers. Hmm. Okay. Bye-bye nano turrets. Bye-bye extremely, extremely expensive piece of equipment advanced construction vehicle. <laughs> 400 metal down the drain. Oh, bye-bye Viper. Bye-bye T2 point defense. I never got to see the light of day. Bye-bye. Bye-bye turrets, bye-bye solars, bye-bye everything. Bye-bye. <laughs> okay, the resurrection bots are... Oh, wait, those are AKs. Never mind. Wait, those weren't peewees. What the hell was I thinking? Those were AKs the entire time. Oh, my God. He actually let it get surrounded. He actually let the Goliath get surrounded. And he didn't even kill the advanced lab. Mm -hmm. What really surprises me, though, is how 
he didn't stop this with blade wings when he could have. He could. He didn't bring flak tanks with him. He didn't bring flak tanks to stop the uh, tank rush. And now he's dropped an enormous quantity of metal wreckage straight into his lap. And the resurrection bots are just having a ball. Of course, he's killed a lot of energy. And Baka has to make that up before he can really play ball with the um, resurrection bots. But he'll get it. He'll get it. BTAC has had... Hmm... BTAC has had a lot more time to rebuild, but uh, he's lost so much build power from getting his Nanos killed. It's really, really going to be a slog. It's, it's better to just move his entire base to the middle at this point. So Vodka... What are we looking at? Okay. He's getting Reapers in position for a repeat here. He has not lost his production entirely. PTAC has lost most of his base. Vanka has lost most of his. They're pretty much mirrored here. They've got secondary bases in the middle, opposing each front. But um, PTAC does not have air. Uh, but he does have AA. He does have AA. <sighs> Loses an advanced construction vehicle to a freaking laser tower. This is so stupid. Okay. The Reapers will catch up to these, though. Hmm. But they're gonna be on the... They're gonna be playing catch-up while these Reapers are able to just run right through. He doesn't have... Anything yet. Anything quite yet. What the hell is this commander doing? Okay, his commander's gonna try and get in... He might get in there in time to stop the Reapers. But the Reapers, if they see it, they will be able to kite it. Because I think, yeah, they have way more range than a Raider. They can just kite the commander easily. Not as easily as Bulldogs, but it's plenty. Okay. I think P-Deck's screwed. If Vodka's watching, if Vodka's on the ball here, he'll know he can't get anywhere near that commander. Mm, wait. It cloaked. The commander cloaked. But Vodka... Okay, p -Tech does not have the energy to maintain that cloak. He doesn't have the energy to even fire the disintegrator properly. Okay, he got one. He got one Reaper. But he's going to get this if he's good. Yep, he's going to get the advanced lab. Nope, because it's auto-retargeting to attack the commander. So it's acting kind of like a meat shield. He's repairing enough of this. He might scare off... The yep, he's going to scare off the Reaper. Oof. By the skin of his teeth, B-Tac has saved his TZ lab. <laughs> oh, and he got the Reaper. My goodness. My goodness. He did not need to b build that many bots, though. A hey, bots. He's really scared of Blade Wings. Hmm. He has infantry. B-Tac has, uh... Seemed to divert his attention to, um infantry now much cheaper easier to produce easier to work with mm, they're going to get completely minced by reapers though <laughs> I'm sorry but uh, p is uh, has not lost his factory he's he needs to rebuild sedanos though see that's the trick when you get to t2 your t2 constructors cannot build nano turrets they can't t1 constructors build nano turrets so, you really have to watch that. Oh. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, his, his AA bots are on the ball. Good. That could have been a disaster. That could have been a disaster. Hmm. So, Vodka can't do that anymore. What else are we going to do? He's going to kill an advanced solar. Oh, that's painful. That's incredibly painful. Lose 4,000 energy, lose 370 metal with the, the building. What was that? Yep, he has repaired, resurrected the Goliath. Goliath online. Hmm. <laughs> this is painful. Oh. If this thing gets in range, there is nothing PTAC can do to stop it. And let, except get his commander in there, but it's all the way across the map right now. <laughs> hmm. Trying to... He's wasting a lot of energy per shot with that thing. 50. You cannot afford that. If... 
Oh. Yep. And just died to a Goliath. Just died to a Goliath. Five, six Reapers. And p -Tag is on f six Reapers. That's not a very good trade, though, with the Resurrection bots right behind it. This is going to be painful. I'm amazed Vodka thinks the Blade Wing would work twice, though. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So, what is going to happen here? Ooh. No, nope, they're, they're both really scared of each other. Oof. What? What happened? Jiminy Nat. What the hell? I mean, I could understand if he was going to build air transports to carry those things. But, uh, oh. Okay, he's going after the Goliath. The Goliath is incredibly, incredibly slow, and, uh, even with all its health. 7,500 or so? Yep, if it gets swarmed like that, Reapers will completely overrun it. The Goliath is more specialized for killing huge swarms of units at range. Not for going head to toe with, um, other tanks. A toe to toe. Reapers, on the other hand, are perfect for this. Versus AKs. Just picking them apart. Doesn't. Yeah. But the, they're much more fast firing than Bulldogs are. But even they will get overrun with enough AKs. So. The, the main resource here you gotta be wary of is attention. Everyone is focused on this. If anyone made a move towards either side, T-Tac can sweep in, Vodka can sweep in. Hmm. And Vodka's keeping his commander safe in the... What the... Oh. He resigned. Vodka resigned. Okay, Vodka just gave up. After... <laughs> after a harrowing, very, very long 1v1 battle in which no one, uh... No, there, there, there's no clear winner here. I mean, they've both got good control, still. They've both got good um, resource production armies, but, um, wow. <laughs> okay, P-Tac was spending a little too much on AA, but he had a bit more balanced army towards the later end. He had more Reapers coming up, he had more infantry. He could um, nullify the air. And, um, Vodka had a lot more build power, a lot more resurrection bots. I would have liked to see him grab these nanos with air transports and take them to the front though that would have been a pretty good idea make repair stations make a um, reclaim to get all the wrecks he could have played pirate basically and got everything up that uh, was killed but uh <laughs> they extremely extremely good play from both sides a lot of raids a lot of action going on it was really unclear who might win paytack did an extremely big push here and just wiped everything out Vodka made mince me to p base from multiple sides, so there is um, a lot of display of attention going on, though. When you're focused on one side, you don't see what your enemy's doing on the other. You lose um, stuff to tanks up here while you're looking at tanks down here. So <laughs> it really was unclear who might come out the victor, but when a game runs on this long, I guess people get tired. So that's okay. You gave us both a good show. Or you both gave us a good show, so thank you. And I will see everyone later. I'm gonna look for the next one.